If you are wondering what is Chainlink, this is the video for you. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In this video guys, I'll share everything that you need to know about Chainlink. I'll share with you how it works, the tokenomics, partnerships, the future of Chainlink and it won't be a Rockstar Trading video if I don't share with you our price prediction. So I'll share with you exactly my price prediction for Chainlink and more importantly exactly how we're trading it. If you watched our previous video guys, we took a long in Chainlink so we're bullish on Chainlink as long as Chainlink is holding about 14-15 dollars i think Chainlink has a rally and longer term guys if we can break above this consolidation it will confirm a bull trend change and would be looking to buy Chainlink a lot more Chainlink. so guys make sure you watch the video till the end i'll share with you the latest news how we're trading chain link the, the the what chain link is everything basically everything that you need to know about chain link so without further ado guys let's get started so what is chain link so this, this is a definition, so this might not be as fun, but I will read to introduce you what Chainlink is. I'll explain to you how it works in a lot more simple terms using diagrams and pictures so it'll help you understand what Chainlink is. But the definition of Chainlink is that Chainlink is a decentralized blockchain oracle network built on Ethereum. The network is intended to be used to facilitate the transfer of tamper-proof data from off-chain sources to on-chain smart contracts. Its creators claim it can be used to verify whether parameters of a smart contract are met in a manner independent from any of the contract stakeholders by connecting contract directly to real world data events payments and other inputs the key bit from this is connecting blockchain to real world data events payments and inputs so if i had to explain what Chainlink is in simple terms, Chainlink basically allows blockchain to connect with the real world data. Blockchain are amazing, we've seen what blockchain has done with Bitcoin, but Chainlink just takes it to the next step by connecting it to the real world data. It was created in 2017 by Sergei Novorov and Steve Ellis, so I'm sure you've heard a lot about Sergey. And uh, if you just if a diagram to explain how it works, Chainlink helps connect blockchains to real world data. You know, I'll, I'll, you need to understand what smart contracts is. So again, I've watched my other videos, which explains smart contract in a lot more detail. But I'll briefly explain to you what smart contract is. This will help me to explain how Chainlink works and the importance of Chainlink to blockchain. If you have followed our channel, guys, we launched Chainlink in 2017. This is not after the fact. You can go watch my first video. Chainlink's price was less than a dollar and you know you only need one or two of these trades to get in really early and you can go in a parabolic run and this is the trade that we're in at the moment in the YouTube videos like this video I'll share with you exactly where we're buying where we're selling in the Rockstar Trading Group, guys, I can share with you our entry. So this is one trade we took, QNT. I can, this is the one we entered that trade on a pullback setup, and it was hit our targets. So if you are interested more in trading, taking your trading to the next level, I'll leave the links below for you to check out. There's a 30-day trial for less than 30 bucks. I live stream three to four times a week. There's an amazing group members. We're doing DeFi, playing games like Peg, uh, Pegaxi, play to end models, breeding. Uh, you can try trial all this for less than 30 bucks. If you are interested, I'll leave the links below. You also get... Uh, a special strategy video series to get you started on our trading strategies so if you're interested i'll leave the links below um so carrying on with the uh, chain link and smart contracts so smart contract is a tamper proof program that runs on blockchain network when certain predefined conditions are satisfied so a simple condition could be you know if this hundred dollar at this time then you transfer it and smart contracts will do it bitcoin again it's amazing but ethereum introduced smart contracts and that you know took that led to that crazy blow off top in 2017 with altcoins and icos so again that was a really powerful innovation and Chainlink takes it to the next level just to explain smart contracts in a bit more detail it's really important to understand this Smart contracts are a powerful infrastructure for automation because they are not controlled by central administrator and are not vulnerable to single points of attack by malicious entities. When applied to multi-party digital agreements, smart contract applications can reduce counterparty risk, increase efficiency, lower costs and provide new levels of transparency into processes. So if you think about a central blockchain, let me see, I should have a diagram. So if you look at this, how centralized work, you go to a bank and they basically control the money they approve it they send it but decentralized or smart contracts blockchain can transfer money between accounts without having to trust banks 
we've already seen what happened to this world in you know 2007 2009 crash how banks took advantage of the normal people this is why we like cryptocurrency we all want to make money you know we are a trader and i trade like trade more than anyone i'm you know playing peg at the moment there'll be another video you know trading bitcoin crypto small caps you know we want chain link to pump but there is a longer term vision to this and there's a long term goal even for me you know I like we all like making money but i do want this decentralization to succeed this is going to be you know revolutionary and help that all the normal people take power back from governments and the central bank so it's a really you know this is a mission that i, I again i love making money but this is a mission that i strongly believe in and i hope it succeeds to give you an example so let's say team a if the goods arrive on time, then execute a payment from the retailer to the supplier in full amount. If the goods arrive one day late, then execute a payment from the retailer to supplier for 98% of the full amount. So this is programmed into a smart contract. And this basically, once this uh, criteria are met, smart contracts executed. A smart contract that is run on Chainlink. So this is, you know, with on-chain data, Chainlink allows real market data and allows you a blockchain to connect real market data and be execu executed. So if you look at this, Aave supports decentralized lending markets by using asset prices to determine a user's borrowing a borrower and to see if loans are un under collateralized or subject to and subject to liquidation. So this is where Chainlink comes in. It connects the real world data and allows Aave protocol to run. So this is Chainlink's role in DeFi. And I'll go through, you know, the huge role Chainlink plays in the blockchain world. Chainlink's got over, you know, thousands of integrations huge partnerships obviously you know what happened with google and you know that led to a huge rally in 2017 and i also tried to explain to you why chain link price hasn't been going up and using demand and supply because you might be thinking just watching the start of video chain link sounds like an amazing project rocco why has the price not pumped as much so i'll, I'll come to the price at the end of the video let's get into you know the nitty-gritty of it so again uh, I, I will put timer in so you can see which time uh, which which parts of the video talks about price if you're not interested as much in the fundamentals then you can skip to it but i highly recommend take you know five ten minutes out of your day focus on this because you know learning about blockchain cryptocurrency even if you don't like about chain don't like chain link this information might help you you know pick a project and potentially make life-changing worth of money so uh, the, one of the problems with uh, 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 cryptocurrency blockchain and smart contract is that the underlying blockchains they run on isolated networks meaning blockchain have no built-in connection to the outside world thus the ma major evolution underway in blockchain industry is programmable smart contracts that connect with real world data and traditional system outside a blockchain expanding the inputs and out outputs used within smart contract logic these hybrid smart contracts use secure middle where known as Oracle to combine on-chain code with off-chain infrastructure, example, triggering smart contract with external data, settle a contract off-chain on a traditional payment rail. So I gave you an example there. This is really powerful stuff. And I touched on Bitcoin, then what Ethereum did with smart contracts. And this is why Chainlink will absolutely went parabolic. And some of the news uh, impacts I'll touch on could help Chainlink get another rally, which I'll come to at the end of the video. So Oracle problem resolves uh, around a very uh, simple limitations. Blockchain cannot pull data or data from push or push data out to an external system as built-in functionality. Blockchains are isolated network. The isolation blockchain is, is the precise property that makes it extremely secure and reliable as the network only needs to form consensus on very basic set of binary true and false question using data already stored inside Office Ledger. These questions include, did, did the public key holder sign the transaction with the corresponding private key? Does the public address have enough funds to cover the transaction? Is the type of transaction valid within the particular smart contract their very narrow focus of blockchain consensus is why smart contracts are referred to as being deterministic they execute exactly as written with a much higher degree of certainty than traditional system so this is that that's why you know smart contracts are great but oracle and Chainlink adds another layer to this secure smart contract blockchain this adding real world data in a decentralized manner and you know this takes us to the next level so just a simple diagram 
This is the blockchain and this is Chainlink connecting input of real world data and output to real world data. Oracle connects inputs and outputs to blockchain to create hybrid smart contracts. And in my opinion, this is the future. And I'll come to it again a lot more detail on how Chainlink actually works. But Chainlink is, is got playing a huge part in the cryptocurrency. And you know, reading about this, you can just looking at the partnerships and the importance Chainlink plays in cryptocurrency and blockchain adoption, you would think Chainlink is highly undervalued. Apologies for talking about price, but you know, just to show you the how big the Chainlink ecosystem is. So how does Chainlink work? So I explained to you what Chainlink does, but how does Chainlink connect real real world data to blockchain and go through smart contracts and create an output? So I'm going to go into a little bit detail in this. So stay with me, guys. You're doing well. Keep going and you know, pause the video if you need to come back to it. But you know, it's really important you understand this. It starts with a smart contract requesting data from Chainlink network requesting contract. Chainlink protocol in response creates a service level agreement which consists of three separate contracts. Reputation contract. So in this contract, each node is given a reputation score. The, the reputation contract checks the nodes, tracks records to verify their authenticity and performance history. Any disreputable or unreliable nodes it will not be eligible for it. So once, you know, going back to this example that I gave, when they get the data, they'll actually do a reputation check, which is, you know, the reputation contract will check the data if it's actually good data if it is good then chain link will process it to the next step the next step is um order matching contract it delivers the data request to chain link nodes that these nodes then place their bids for providing the requested data subsequently the contract selects the right number of nodes among the bidders who are reliable and capable of providing the requested data alternatively users can also request specific nodes to provide the data and uh, when i talk about staking and running nodes i'll explain a bit more but there you know people that are incentivized to run nodes so in, in cryptocurrencies uh, in Ethereum, Cardano, people staking gets rewarded for executing contracts, for trusting them. And if you, so this basically checks the chain link nodes in a way. Next step is aggregating the contract. Once the selected node have collated the requested data through external sources, chain link software translates the information to on blockchain language this is so powerful this is where the real world data gets connected to blockchain here is what the powerful aggregating contract comes into play it now validates the data from each single source and compares the data from multiple sources it can sort out false answers if seven out of nine nodes provide the same but two different the return of weighted score using the sum of all the data is received so again it will do a weighted score and pick the best most secure one so this these are the steps that Chainlink goes through to connect real world data to blockchain and we get an output and this is how we get adoption because blockchain is great but unless you're connecting with real world data you can't actually have any use cases that's why we see Chainlink having so many use cases and so much adoption i'll come to the latest news and i'll go through the latest news with you but this is in in simple terms how Chainlink works before i go on to the news section it's really important to talk about the tokenomics because i believe this is one of the reasons why uh chain link price hasn't pumped if you compare chain links tokenomics to luna the way Luna works, if you have been watching our videos, we've been in Luna since $5. Luna burns a lot of, to mint UST, you have to burn Luna. And the burning of Luna reduces the supply. And trading is all about supply and demand. When supply is reduced and demand goes up, that's when the price goes parabolic. Although Chainlink is an amazing project, the Chainlink's tokenomics isn't as good uh, again this is the current date this is the current data at the moment correct me if i'm wrong but i believe these are the uh, current data so 46 percent of these were sold during uh, sorry well, i believe it was 35 percent that were sold but at the moment uh, there is 46 percent let me fix this apologies for this so uh, 36 percent of these were sold so Chainlink has a 1 billion token supply and 36 percent of these were sold during the ico in 2017 and I believe currently about 30% of Link are still in the founding company's hand. And uh, if you go on this chart, I tweeted about this. So let me go on to the tweet. So I tweeted about this. Chainlink has been selling a lot of tokens. And this is why if Chainlink is selling their tokens, that means there's a supply increase. And even if we are buying, you know, our 100 links or 1,000 links, if huge numbers are being dumped by the Chainlink team, it's more difficult for the price to go up. In my Link example, they've been, in my Luna example, 
they were burning lunar tokens and we are buying so supplies dropping demands going up the price absolutely goes parabolic if you are interested in demand and supply this is explained on my course or you know just subscribe to the channel guys i do live streams you can ask me about it i'll share with you exactly what i trade and you can watch some of the live streams i've shared live trades in those free youtube live streams as well so Luna's supply was going down because Luna is being burned. People are buying Luna to, you know, get the rewards on Anchor Protocol, Mirror Protocol, all the DeFi stuff. I've made videos. You can, you know, earn 20%, 50% APY, Delta Neutral, even risk-free. And the demand was going up. Uh, supply was reducing the price was going up unfortunately for Chainlink's case Chainlink team has been dumping tokens as you can see they are not they don't have as many as they used to have so this is the post i made earlier in the year that the increased selling from the team kept the chain link prices low but now with reduction of supply big news with staking and the thousand plus apps and potentially bitcoin bottoming link price could be trend changing i'll come back to the price but this is really important to understand and this was one of the reasons why i made this video so i wanted to make a chain link price prediction video but i want to change the content and people requested that i actually go into details of projects so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below it takes a lot longer to make this video few few hours when i'm making price prediction videos i can just do a screen record so if you are enjoying this video and uh, hit that like button it motivates me to create more content so coming back to the tokenomics so chain link team still has about 30 percent uh, with the founding team link does but but there are positives to it guys so link doesn't it link doesn't have a mining process nor does it mint new tokens so this is a positive links supplies fixed and unchange unchangeable so there's no inflation and if the link supply from the founding member team which is looks like is is they've stopped selling now which is a huge positive by the way and if the demand for the Chainlink token goes up, I think Chainlink staking coming up will be huge for the demand to go up. Chainlink price can go up. So I'm not saying tokenomics is bad. There's lots of FUD around Chainlink's, um, Chainlink's tokenomics. And, and I can some of them I can understand where you know people think that Chainlink uh, tokenomics isn't very good. It is very centralized. And yes, it is still centralized. You can see the operators hold 35%, uh, team holds 25%. This news uh, was slightly old, so it's not, these are not the latest numbers. The numbers I shared is more accurate. But you can see that Chainlink is still uh, uh, really centralized and, and there's arguments for it or not. But you know, a lot of the other cryptocurrencies are centralized as well using the argument, you know, even Solana you know apart from bitcoin ethereum you can call any uh, uh, any uh, cryptocurrency centralized it's going to take time and the things that are chainlink bringing out with um with staking and they've got more plans for decentralizations people running nodes it's only going to help with decentralization and the security of the blockchain so they are working on it i don't want to look at it as a bad news and and uh, from a price point of view and long-term point of view i think it's not a massive red flag for me but there is a contention on it rockstar trading channel i don't want to say buy this going to the moon i'll share with you what i'm doing i'll share with you the trade that we took in the rockstar trading group where we've bought link i'll share with you when i'm selling or taking profit or if i'm still holding my investment but please do your own research that is a question mark you should, probably should do a bit more uh, reading up research and then comment below and or message me on twitter youtube i'll get back to you I'm, I'm interested in researching more about their tokenomics so link is a vital part so just to explain what link does uh, is the only currency that can be used for interacting with the network smart contracts that want to obtain data from the uh, chain link network use link to pay nodes operators for their services so i touched on the second step that what the node operators do, do, uh, does and they get paid in link so link Link, again has a use case a lot of tokens don't have any use case chain link and the link token has so chain link node operators determine prices for their services based on the demand and the current market for the requested data service um da -da -da, let me go back to the tokenomics further to the uh, participate as data providers the node operators must take link deposited link demonstrates their commitment to the network incentivizes goods and services the size of the nodes stake serves among other criteria is an important factor for its reputation scores you can see everything connecting up now this node reputation contract when we run it depends on how much link is staked and this makes chain link very secure as well because if you're already invested so much in chain link you would trust you know 
you'd be a good player you're not going to try and cheat you're going to be a good player in the chain link ecosystem therefore the greater a node stake the more likely it is chosen to fulfill data request which in return earn its additional link tokens chain link network also punishes faulty and dishonest nodes by deducting their stake to compensate for the counterparty for poor so you can see how the chain link ecosystem works by trusting these people are invested holding their chain link so they have good interest as well that's how chain link works and they're also that point on uh, the chain link tokenomics so this is the new section i've already touched on this and to me this is going to be the biggest thing if this if chain link team don't sell any and there's huge demand for staking so the next news the first news i'm going to touch on with you guys is staking if chain link you know uh, staking goes parabolic and chain link team is not selling this catches demand i do expect chain link to rally this is just a trade we took you know bounce off support on a trend change on a shorter time frame if you guys watch the rockstar trading youtube channel we look for a pullback I believe I shared this trade on a YouTube live stream and on the, the YouTube live stream I post my entries my buy levels like I'll share in this video and I posted the exact entries you know like this when I'm buying when I'm selling with stops and targets anyone can make prediction guys but knowing when to buy and sell is a completely different different thing and you know, I know lots of people that bought Chainlink, you know, at $10, rode it up to, you know, 36 40 and then just rode it back down. So, you know, make sure you have plans of taking profit. So when we dip, you can accumulate more for the next rally up. That's how you grow your wealth. So uh, the news wise, so first I touched on the team stop selling. The second is staking link. So chain link staking is coming out this year. Um, again, I don't know the exact date. Correct me if, if, if you have got a date, but from my research, I haven't found a date. This is from the founder. Um, this is a great achievement. They don't require block rewards or an Oracle reward for any kind to operate. And this milestone has led us to plan for staking release in this coming year. And Chainlink uh, white paper too. Again, I recommend if you want to invest big money, you know, five, six figures in Chainlink, read the white paper. It doesn't take that long. I've shared, taken information from this. I've read this, you know, read the economics, cryptonomics, you know, do a bit of work. Don't just buy for because, you know, someone like myself or, you know, some of the YouTube shillers online, you can see the moon or bid by crypto shilling their bags. You know, don't listen to them. Don't listen to me even, uh, you know, make your own decision, decisions. And the best advice I can give you is reading white papers. It takes a bit of time, but there's always, you know, you need to put the hard work in if you want to make life changing money. Even if you join my group, you have to still put the time in, learn our strategies, learn it for yourself, uh, practice it and then start hopefully making money and if you can learn the strategies get ready for a parabolic bull run you know we had in 2017 or last year that's when you can make life-changing money so put the work in now get in good projects and you can sell in the next raging bull market so the nodes with the best reputation based on the history of accurate low latency per performance will be paid for the highest number of use cases allowing these nodes to make larger deposits gain greater stake in the security of chain link network i touched on the security staking is going to help big in that so that's the big two big news i'm looking for this year or, or, or in, in going forward just to review last year it shows you uh, the chain links achievement 75 billion total value secured Grew, ecosystem grew to plus thousand projects that is huge so many almost any cryptocurrency you think of is probably using chain link or the oracle how it works so this is huge news and you know they're looking into nfts as well that could be another bullish news i'm not the biggest fan or i don't know sorry that's not the uh, right way to say it. i need to research a lot more on nfts i've not invested as much in nfts as i have done with DeFi and cryptocurrency and recently gaming projects uh, Pegax is the latest one in uh, Pegax video is going to come out on sunday so uh, make sure uh, you hit that like button and subscribe uh, where is i've lost that link now uh, chain link service 2.5 million million requests to se for secure off-chain computation these are some huge metrics shows the activity on the blockchain of chain link chain link integrations across blockchain layer to propelled multi-chain ecosystem the future is multi-chain i know there's you know people that just believe in ethereum and nothing else but all these projects are going you know phantom is one that i love you know, Avalon, Solana, Polygon I'm using for um, my game that I'm playing, Pegaxi. So these are some amazing projects and Chainlink is, is multi-chain. Open source developers leverage Chainlink to compose innovative smart contract use cases. So they go through a lot of use cases. I recommend you read this article. I'll, I'm just quickly skimming through it. I don't want this video uh, to be too long. Global enterprises began using Chainlink as their gate, uh, get, 
can't have lost my pronunciation global enterprises began using Chainlink as a gateway to blockchain economy and you can see some of the huge huge uh, names on there so uh, uh, the main thing again the, the, these news makes you think Chainlink should go absolutely parabolic the key thing that i mentioned is that supply and demand that's what makes the price go up so it with all the news and demand we're seeing if the if the selling stops and the demand goes up and chain link staking goes i think that's when we can get the rally in chain link and chain link is a coin that can pump even when bitcoin isn't pumping so definitely, definitely, this will be on our watch list and I'll make a YouTube video when it's breaking now and I'll post my exact setup as well. Some other key news, you know, the Internet of Blockchain. So this is came out start of the year and talking about what Chainlink's plans are for this year. I've touched on staking. And these are some of the other news that you can read to understand what Chainlink is trying to solve and how will Chainlink staking will make a, a Chainlink more decentralized and secure the Chainlink network. There's not too many other news. Again, there's lots of people talk about price, but fundamentally, I recommend you go read this. So this is Chainlink's Twitter page and their blog. All the latest news comes out here. And these are actual news, not just people talking about prices. And it's really important to understand what's going on in the background, especially if you're looking to invest and um, read this. This is amazing. Chainlink integrates weather data from Google Cloud, showing chain how big ambitions Chainlink has. Um, another positive news is that Chainlinks have hired, uh, hired some two key members. I think they'll play an important part in Chainlink's future. And cryptocurrency is such an early early stage. We're not really, you know, we can't see how much money they're making. It's all about investing in the team, trusting the team to deliver something in the future. That's the risk that we take. So, you know, if you if you don't believe in sort of Sergey Navarov or the, the the new team members that Chainlink has, then probably you don't want to invest in it. If you trust the team, uh, you. You know, that's what we basically doing. We are backing uh, these guys with our money to deliver something in the future. So Chainlink team is growing and, you know, attracting really good talent. Chainlink capital targets 100 million in assets for two crypto funds. Another positive, you know, money coming in. Crypto focused venture fund Chainlink Capital Management has set a target to reach 100 million in asset management to each of its Luna and AMA funds this year. Again, another positive money coming in demand for Chainlink. So that's the latest news, guys. Let's come back to the price prediction now. The Chainlink guys again went absolutely parabolic uh, last year, uh, uh, start of the year, and then since that May we had that dip. We've had rallies. So if you watch our videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. I share all these trades beforehand. Uh, this was a trend change pullback so if you want an example of a pullback this i'll go into a lot of detail on on the on the course so if you trial trial us for 30 days we basically look for trend change and look to buy on a pullback so the trade i took here same breakout pullback to our ma and uh, we had a really nice rally hit our target we traded chain link here and we had that rally now the other strategy i look for is buying the dip so this is a dip that we bought rsi divergence huge support and we've had a rally this was my first target it's not really come to our first target i'm going to look to take profit on this trade around $18 and I, I think next target should be $20, $22. So I think that's the short time frame target. Um, uh, in this video, again, you're probably expecting some long-term prediction, but it's a lot easier to for me using my strategy making these trades taking these trades prediction wise i'll share with you my prediction but short time frame as long as you know you could look to even buy some now and as long as we don't trend change below 12 or 13 i think we're going to head to 20 22 dollars in the next few months so that's my trade setup that's my short time frame price prediction long term, long term guys chain link is at such a key zone i really hope that chain link starts bottoming out here so studying the weekly time frame this is huge time frame support and uh, you, you can look to just buy some chain link now if we start trend changing if we start doing this in chain link in the next few months that will be really bearish and i don't want to see that happen so chain link btc again i tried to update you guys on youtube i'll make videos if we do if chain link breaks below this i'll probably exit the trade i shared with you that we're reading the rockstar trading group and look to potentially buy back cheaper but i really don't want chain link to break below 3500 and if you ask me i don't think we will so I think we're going to chop around here and the two scenarios I'm going to look for is a breakout above here. 
if Chainlink, I've got an alert set, as you can see, I'll post exactly the trade. If Chainlink breaks out above 7,000 sats and Chainlink, so write this two levels down, 7,000 sats uh, against BTC, because we want to be buying coins that are breaking out against BTC and also against USD. That's when you get those parabolic trades that we've uh, predict, uh, predictions that we made, those huge breakouts. If you study the Bitcoin chart as well, they were breaking out. If that happens and Chainlink is above this red zone which is 35 that's a chain link bull market and uh, that's when i'll start making breakout 200 percent 3000 percent breakout videos if not just short time from trade you know targeting 22 if we break above weekly daily moving average i'll trade towards 30 30 35 dollars just short time from scalping trading but long term that's the key level i'm looking at so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it slightly longer video different format let me know what you guys think about this type of video and if you have any questions uh, anything about chain link comment below if you uh, if you are interested in the Rockstar Trading Group, I'll leave the links below. And before I end the video, comment below your price prediction for Chainlink. So thank you very much and I'll see you guys soon.